Hi, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Thank you for joining us tonight out on Facebook and out there on YouTube. For tonight's show, we've got a special What to wear, what to wear. Hey, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Today's Tuesday tip, we're going to talk about attire. What attire do you wear to weddings? Now, when back in the day, it was something that, that well, you've, you've heard of everything. You've heard of ripped jeans, t-shirts, shorts, uh, polos, button-down shirts with no tie, button-down with tie, vests and tie, suits, whatever. What is the thing to do today? A couple of aspects. First off, it depends if you have a look. Now, if there's a certain look that you have, there are some DJs out there who are very trendy and they have a certain look that they're going to, they're going to do. And that might mean that they have more of a uniform, and I don't call it a uniform like what you would see worn at a big box store type of uniform, but they might have a type of, of um, stylish shirt and a stylish this and stylish that that they wear at their shows. If that's you, that's what you do. There's some DJs out there who part of their look is that they're going to be wearing a tuxedo. Is that for most DJs? No. Most DJs should not be wearing a tuxedo because that those days are kind of over right now. They may make that circle and come back. But let's face it, if your style, if your brand is the big bow tie and a colorful tuxedo because that's what you do, that's what you do. You do those things. You don't break from your brand. You're creating that brand and that's what you do. If you were in Mobile Beat a couple of years ago and they were talking to Redfoo, Redfoo basically discussed the idea that you have a brand and you have to live that brand wherever you go day in, day out because that's what people expect from you. So if your thing is a bright suit, bright uh, tuxedo and a bow tie or whatever it is, you do that. Now for those of us who don't have a brand like that, then it's something that you want to either dress as an entertainer, that you're going to be wearing a nice uh, gentleman, a nice black suit, maybe that's the entertainer look you're looking for, or a gray suit, but you're wanting to have a nice suit or something that fits nicely, yeah, tie, shirt, whatever you want, but you don't want to look like the wedding party. First off, I don't want to look like anybody in the wedding party, and I don't want to look like the wait staff. Those two are big, and I'm, and there was a day when it's like, oh yes, you look just like the wait staff, you know, with your tuxedo shirt and your and your your little bow tie, because that's what the wait staffs were wearing for the longest time. Well, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to have people coming up and say, "Excuse me, sir, can you freshen up my drink?" No. Excuse me, sir, where's the bathrooms? No. Over there. Anyway. You want to make sure that you have your look, and your look is unique. You don't want to, again, look like the wedding party, and you don't want to match the colors of the couple. Oh, I know some people are like, oh, I like to make sure I have my vest and tie look like the, the same color as the bridesmaid's dress. Stop it. You're not part of the wedding. You're there to enhance and help them have a great day. You're not part of that, that scene. Now, I don't want my colors to con conflict with them, so I'm going to go with neutral colors. I might do a black, white, and gray, which would go over pretty much with no matter what, they, what colors are going on at the wedding. The neutral colors, but yet make me look professional in what I'm doing, is going to go over each and every time. If I'm going to decide to wear a bright red, this thing, unless it's part of my brand, if it's part of my brand, then I do what I do. But if I want to be that you know, less, less out there entertainer, you know, I'm not going to wear like right there. That little jacket was sold at DJ conventions years ago as a sequiny red thing and there was blue and black, whatever. Yeah, those obviously don't get worn anymore, but they are something that for the people who are into that and that's their style, there's their brand. For me, it's going to be the black and that more of a professional looking. I don't match anyone else, but yet I look like that. There's some, that guy's, there's something, he, he's doing something. And I'm not sure what. Now, sometimes I'm wearing a vest at, at shows, and sometimes I go with a, a the shirt, tie, and jacket. It really depends on the venue and such of where I'm at and what is going to fit in the best with that venue and, and the room. You guys got to figure that part out, but finding your own style and not blending in with everything else is the best idea when it comes to wearing you know, the type of attire at a wedding. If this is your first time watching one of our Tuesday tips, thank you for joining me. If you have got a tip on what you're doing for your attire and how you do it, please put that down in the comment section down below. People are coming to these, these videos and they're having questions and they're wondering, you know, how does this, you know, how do other DJs do it? Please share your information down below in that. Others would love to learn from you and your experiences. 
You also get a chance on Monday nights to go to our djntv.com page, go click on the convention series link and find out uh, our weekly educational content that's on the convention series, which is basically a convention level seminar that's being brought to you live every Monday night at 9 o'clock Eastern. Go to the page, check it out, join us on a Monday night there. You can definitely do that. It's some great information. And if you join up with the DJN TV Insider area, you're going to get the current shows and all of the back shows. We've got like 80 videos, I think, now in that area that's all available for our DJN, DJN TV Insiders, DJNTVInsider.com. Thank you for watching.